Okay, Red Raider fans, welcome to another county meet here. We're Gary McNeil and Carl King, and we're doing the London County Championships, Madison County Championships. We got uh, London, Jonathan Alder, Madison Plains, and West Jeff. Is Jonathan Alder in Madison County, Carl? Oh, yeah. Is, I, I was thinking he was in Union County. Mm -mm. But anyway, we got that meet going here tonight, and... Um, we hope you enjoy what we got on here. We've got, um, I don't really have any the amount of names or I can tell you exactly who people are running what events, but I can tell you what the events are when they when they come up and when they're running. So uh, be patient with us and at least we can give you the lane and who's in what lane and uh, pick out your kid, follow them down the track. Hang in there. This will work out for the best. Good. Okay, we're on uh, taking a few shots at the pole vault here. I thought girls were supposed were required to wear a helmet, and this is the first year for London girls pole vault. She slid over pretty good. I think it's only about five or six feet. She held on to the pole. Yeah, and took the pole right over with her. Uh, this is an event where. I don't know who we've got that's doing the teaching the pole vault, but I think that's a very crucial event that she said they should definitely have somebody that's there that's qualified to train these kids, especially the girls, so that nobody gets hurt. I think I saw somewhere earlier in this year where um, a girl or somebody got killed and landed on their head in the pole vault. So that's a pretty dangerous event, and like I say, some of them are wearing helmets. I think there's a boy down there wearing a helmet, which makes a lot of sense to me. Give another shot at it. Got the pole down. This isn't the best of weather to be doing that either. I want to give a shout out to uh, Joanne, my wife. She had surgery. Uh, last Thursday, Friday, and uh, it was very extensive surgery, and uh, I'm just very thankful that she came through it okay, and hopefully she'll be back on her feet here for very long. We got the long jump going over there too. That's right behind us. Behind, I don't know if you can reach that or not. See, that was what was neat about Ohio Wesleyan, is almost everything was right out in front of you. <coughs> we had almost everything right out in front of us, and um, it was very easy to uh, pick up almost all the events, because everything was right there in the infield. So um, we lose the discus and the shot put because discus is clear over by the baseball field. And by the way, they are uh, starting the, the uh, <laughs> starting the uh, you can move that over the um, tennis courts. They got one layer on part of it, so that's ought to draw some interest here too for long. Having good looking tennis courts done. This complex is slowly coming together, but it's nice. Heck of a place. What are we on here? Pole vault? That's uh, Ooh. <laughs> that Madison Plains, isn't it? Yeah. They, they haven't learned how to let loose of the pole, I guess. I saw girls doing it over at uh, um, Jesse Owen track meet last year. Some of them girls was getting up her big time. We got high jump going here. We got a London jumper. I can't see a number. She's measuring, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Doing a little yogi there before she started. Oh. I hear we got some fairly fast girls this year, so that's going to be interesting. 
I think the boys have been winning most of their meets. And what makes these uh, events so hard to televise is the fact that the only time we really have somebody with a program that tells you what, who's in what lane and whatever is, is on the uh, championships. So it's not like... Um, the bullpen will be at the starting line of the event. We will make no further calls, so you need to pay attention as to what's happening on the track. And with that, we have first of all girls and boys, four by 800 meter relay. So I was getting ready to say it's not like your other sports where you play all the teams in the league and um, you come up with a win and loss record and then determines who wins, uh, wins your league. Uh, this year is just one big event at the end of the season. And BAC championships, so uh, that'll be next week. Do we have a, a junior high this coming Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Have yeah, a junior high uh, county meets uh, Saturday, so. Um, I think it's the league Saturday. No, it's county. Well, it's county, isn't it? BAC. BAC. Junior high? Yeah. When's junior high uh, county? The county quad? Yeah. Tomorrow. Uh oh. For the. Junior high? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think, Carl? I mean, uh, I'll probably run to the hospital. My wife's over in Mercy in Springfield, and she's going to be there for a while. So some things are take priority, and that's one of them. Where are we at? We on here? Do you know most of these kids that are running? Mm -mm. You don't? Oh, okay. What's your name? Heidi. Heidi. Browning. Heidi Browning. I have Heidi Browning next to me, so you may hear me asking her some questions from time to time. Glad to have you up here, Heidi. Get off the track, dance. <laughs> They've got the boys over on the green pit. The girls are on the red pit for uh, for the high jump. We've got about just a few minutes, and we'll be starting the um, four by eight. I believe the girls is first. Yes, these events are being held at the London Red Raider track. And field. Um, JJ Hartley Complex. Madison County Championships, May the 6th, 2002. Who we got there? Come on in. Come and get your chair. There's plenty of room. Ain't no sense sitting out there. Get here a pin drop, couldn't you, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> Everything got quiet all of a sudden. We got another London pole vaulter getting ready to go up. I'm on the high jump. Okay. Is that Brock? Doesn't run like him, does it? Yeah. Let me see if I can pick out some high jumpers here. Tyler Hayes and Garrett Hotchkiss and Brandon Edley are High jumpers for London boys. Like Edley's here, yeah. His name right is Brandon Edley. Brandon? Yeah, I've been calling him Brandon all the time. and uh, Basketball coach's wife corrected it real quick. B R A N N O N R E N R A N. <laughs> One of them three. <laughs> Oops. 
Yeah, a little tiptoe to the, to the tulips there. He must have heard you said that. <laughs> yeah. Second call, girls and, and three boys, more. four by 800 meter relay. Second call, girls and boys, four by 800 meter relay. The bullpen is by the red benches behind the scores platform. We need to have your relay cards, so please bring your relay cards with you. Second call, girls and boys, four by 800 meter relay. And that is the voice of Glenn Wilt. <laughs> What'd you call him, Carl? <laughs> Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf. Had to zoom in on him there. See his outfit. He's a traitor. London's red, black, and white. But Papa's uh, some kind of blue there. It doesn't look blue on your screen. It doesn't. <laughs> make, it, make an adjustment. <laughs> Yeah, the screen maybe needed, might have too much color in it. Uh -huh. Of course, the lighting's not that great. It's yeah, kind of dull out here tonight, overcast. Yeah. Can't take a chance on being outside. Now we got Adley's getting ready to high jump attempt. Oh. Ooh. Got to get that tail end up a little higher. Like that little frog on there, huh? uh, yeah, that, that's the that's the uh, look now. Everybody's going back to the afro. Even the ones that got straight are kinking theirs up. The red don't have to worry about it because he ain't got no hair. <laughs> How about that, red? It's been a while. I had about four or five people um, saying, "Man, we ain't seen you on TV lately." Man, I've been so busy taking care of medical situations at home that I haven't really had time to do this. Oh. I turned my back and he tried it again, didn't I? Yep. I was trying to see what else was going on down at the other end of the field. Mm. Long jump looks kind of quiet, I would you say. I wonder who that is. That's, that's got to be from where? Uh, Which one? Oliver? With the guy with the bandana on his hand? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Is that older color up there getting ready to high jump? Yeah, I think so. With the bandana on his head? Was that orange? I thought they were red. Because there's a red jacket right there. I think with, up, with, with, with Alder on the back of it. Kind of looks orange or something. It does from here. Need my glasses. It looks orange, Girls, but I don't think it is. Boys can start checking in. That would be an open pit from 5:45 to 6:45. Or boys, long jump, open pit. I don't see him down there. 6:45, but it is now available. You can report to the long jump pit. Maybe wait till everybody gets out and then he jumps. Yeah. <laughs> everybody goes out, and jumps everybody. Yeah, then he just makes one jump. He done. What do you think? That'd be, be my thought. <laughs> Save your energy. That's the thing to do. You can do it. These guys are jumping off a quick one, back to back jumps. <laughs> yep. They go up there and then take off right, you know, immediately. You don't usually see that. Well, I guess we're getting ready for the uh, four by eight meter relay. Are they going to run together, the boys and the girls? No, I, I didn't think so. They just usually do that on uh, a regular single distance run, don't they? Thirty-two hundred. Uh, usually don't run them together. I thought there was one race they did. Well, they've done it before, but probably use it if they're running late or something. You don't want to get the race over. Yeah. Get home. Trying to get beat the weather. Yeah, there you start. And in lane one, we'll be in lane two. Lane two is London. Jonathan Alder B is in lane three. Madison Plains is in lane four. And Jonathan Alder B again is in lane five. It's got two B's. I'm sure one of them probably meant to be A and B. Are you press box ready? 
Timer in the press box needs to be ready. Are you ready? Yeah. This is a girl's four by eight relay. There's only three down there, aren't there? Yeah. Hello, <laughs> It looked like it, didn't it? I think that's Jamie Odie. Yep. We're running for London in the red. I got a list of numbers, but all I got is, is the numbers. I recognize her from. Way back. Prior, yeah, it seemed like she'd been running forever, don't it? She's working her way up to the front. So mass and planes must not be in this race. Let me look here. What colors planes? What's planes wearing tonight? Green. They're wearing green tonight. West Jeff will be in the yellow. Girls, discus throwers can start migrating to the discus area. They're not throwing. If I'm not mistaken, Madison Plains usually wins this race, don't they? They're usually pretty strong in these these uh, distance races. Four by eight. There, yep. You got to get some new people training. I didn't even catch the time. They were in the way. It was over a minute, though. <laughs> it's like a minute, 20 something. Almost 30. Yeah, you can tell from right here, can't you? Um, give me the times when they, like, the splits when they cross it. Well, she's got it right here on the right in front of her. But it'd be nice if you can get it on the on the tape so the people can see it. So right now it's a race with uh, London and Mass and Plains. Jamie Odie running for London. She takes the lead now and is going to pick it up some. Set a little faster pace. Try to get a. Oh, that's uh, Kennedy, the next leg here, Carl. Look at her, she's ready to go, too. <laughs> we were just talking about Kennedy. Is this the race she's going to run her best? Uh, two miles. Two miles. She's put going for her personal best. She wants it big time. 241. 241. So we had to first exchange at 241. Give uh, Ruthie a pretty good lead there. Seems like she's been running for a while too. What grade is she in? Um, I think tenth. Tenth is that all? <laughs> we, we we've been following her through the junior high too, I guess. She did do that one year and run off the track. What'd you say, Carl? There was three. Couldn't be, it's four already. I don't know, you said two. No, she's at 355. Yeah. That's what I said. Probably can't tell. I still got this horse voice. Haven't gotten over it yet, but I will someday. I hope. Yeah, Ruthie's. I didn't get her time of her, her leg, but her first time around, we were running that 355. I don't know what the record is on this. Let's see if we got any records. Girls' shot has been completed. Boys' shot can begin checking in and warming up. Girls' shot is completed. 
Boy's shot is now open. The boy's discus is completing, so the girl's discus can begin. And right this going, I don't think the Madison Plains going to win it this year. I was thinking they won. Uh... Well, London usually has a pretty good team in this, too. Ruth is going to make the exchange here at 5.13. Officially. Right. And that that's official because we got, well, yeah, hers is uh, probably a tenth of a second off. Are they lapped? Is somebody getting lapped? Oh, I thought you was handling it. No, she's not. Is she running? <laughs> she's I saw her go by here and I just get ready to say, well, she better get out of the way because she's not. <laughs> See, that don't look like no effort at all. I'd run off the track somewhere and hide. I was trying to think who did that. Somebody did that one year. Do you know who this girl is here? Erica. Erica what? Richardson. There is an Erica Richardson, 808. Let's see if her number's 808. <clears throat> nope. Yeah. Erica Richardson running that leg there. Yeah. 6.30. Already? <laughs> yeah. It will be. They may have to turn the light. Well, they already got the lights on. The thing of it is, you get points even if you finish third, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter how far they're back. Just finish it, and that's going to add to their total. Yeah. Is Eric Richardson... Stretches out a little bit farther. They can see the time on the scoreboard. We're using the scoreboard so the runners can see. They had a pretty strong wing, wind coming at them, coming up stretch, don't they? Mm -hmm. And Lamberson's going to be taking the last leg. Alethea Lamberson, number 849. Is Redmond well tonight? Yeah, she said she'd be running today. Runs the hurdles. Nikki Lamberson takes it. 7.53. And she's off. And she'll stretch it out. I'd like to see her. You didn't want no paper, did you? Hmm? She didn't want no paper, did you? Why? Uh, Lindsay asked if you, that paper went up there. Came up here and went down there. <laughs> yeah, they're supposed to bring one up here. That was probably for the field events. Oh, okay. I'm sure. Um, I know I asked the coach for a list of her events and stuff, and she said she'd make me a copy, but she never got around to it. I'm assuming she had the field of them. Probably. Alicia can stretch out in these long events. Mm -hmm. I like to see her get faster and run into for some of the shorter events. That really pick up her basketball game. 904. We are running the 4x8 meter relay. This is a girls event. And London is, has a very huge lead. I think um, Mass and Plains then lapped uh, 
holder also. Lamerson making a turn, heading for home. Stretch it out, girl. Everybody in the stands is watching you. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. Yeah, all two of them. And she's going to cross the finish line in a time of 10, what was it? 10, 10, 23, 8. Yeah. <laughs> 10, 23. Uh. 10, 23. 8. So Lennon wins the girls 4x8 in a time of 10 minutes and 23.8 seconds. See if I can get that time right this year. You're all right. Oh. Wow. Mm. Get you a high chair to sit in. My knee. I don't know if the clock stopped or not. No, nah, it's still going. Because I didn't get the time at that uh, planes crossed the line. Watch the replay. Yeah. Next up is the boys in it. Four by eight. She's got one more. She's got one more to go, I believe. Wow. Oh yeah. She got lapped by both people. But it's points. Yeah. She could finish the race. She she can walk. Wouldn't that make wouldn't that upset him? I would. <laughs> <laughs> Like, hey, race me this way now. Oh. Might be going for their personal best. Yeah, though. yeah, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these schools didn't have, don't have that good a girls track team. Alder's got a new track, don't they? I think they put a new track yeah, in up there, so. all weather track. Mm -hmm. And Plains has got one. That's where they're having the uh, cancer walk at yeah. this year. Madison County Championships. We just about got one race completed. <laughs> <laughs> Four by eight. Girls. And get the four by eight boys and then we'll start picking up some speed or speedsters. Carl, we got to be looking at some ways to pick up, get some um, digital equipment. I think the school's using digital. And everything I've looked in, you cannot find camcorders like like what we're using. Uh -huh. And we finally finished that race. Hmm. It's time for the boys. In lane two, this is a 4 by 8 meter, 4 by 800 meter relay. In lane two, we have London A, Lane 3 we have Jonathan Alder A, in Lane 4 we have Madison Plains, and this is starting out in Lane 5, London B and Jonathan Alder in Lane 6. So Alder and London have A and B runners, and um, I'm not sure who we got here. We got one hey, team here. Huh? There's no numbers on the boys. No. Uh, but uh, one team has got Jared Shove, Jeremy Collins, Monte Jackson, and Chris Slagle. You ready, Ronald? Yeah. All right. That's Monte. Monte Jackson, that's his. Uh, that's his Monte Jackson, that's his uh, group. He's in the inside lane wearing the headband for London. Monte, tell me he's been running pretty good this year. It's a little bit faster than the girls, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> So, the 4x800 meter relay race will be the girls' 100 meter hurdles. So, 
If you're a hurdler, boys and girls can restart. Carl, is that considered the third turn? Girls and boys there. One, two, or the, or the fourth turn. Or they cut in. Third. Third, okay. It looked like it would be the fourth. Monte's first trip in 56 seconds. So he did 400 of it <laughs> in 56 seconds. Let's see if we can do this other 400 in. Sound like you're having trouble with that mic down there. And once again, London stretching it out. Got London in the lead and uh, Madison Plains in second, Alder in third. Plains four, London five. There's quite a stretch there. <laughs> They're down. Monte will give up the baton. Two minutes and five seconds. That's London. <coughs> I saw that group there just hand off Carl and they just stopped. Oh, really? <laughs> when they took the hand off. Well, how you doing? Well, you want this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, I got it. Go ahead. You can go now. We got a race with... Uh, Alder and Plains for second place in this right now in this leg. And London, I'm. Do you know that? Jared, they called him Jared, so it must be Jared Shove. Second leg. Monte Jackson won the first one. 302. Okay, thank you, huh? Let me write that down. I had a paper here, it must have blew away. It's under your key. Okay. <laughs> this is where Lennon probably steals some points too. I have two teams in. If I can get the second team up in the... I don't know if they, they might just be in there to be in there. Maybe not, I don't know. Well, I'm not sure what he meant, but he said something about this was um, all about the athlete, not about the team or school yeah. or something like that. I'm not... Must be a war. Unless I misunderstood him. Yeah, that's what he said. It must be a war just for the uh, individuals. It's not a team thing. What was it, hon? 4-16. Four, 4-16 six. Four, exchange for London. That's the, uh, that's the third runner, isn't it? Yeah. And let's see who that is. It's either Jeremy Collins or Chris Schlegel. Now it's starting to stretch out, Carl. We got London and then Alder. Plains, there's a good... 60 yards between each one of them. We got a race coming down the home stretch here. Hurdle crew on the standby. If you're not competing, please help with the hurdle. Let's see if I cheer this kid on. I hear his name. Okay, here's London, here's London right here. Jeremy. 518, yeah, that's Jeremy. Jeremy Collins. So, 
If this is true to form, Chris Slagle will be running the last leg for London. So far, London's got a big lead in this. Could be a sweep, girls and boys, in the 800 meter relay. Okay, that's the starting line. Check in will be right after completion of this relay. Uh oh, London's going to lap somebody. I couldn't let him do that, Carl. <laughs> Let's see if he's going to let him do it. Oh, he's still got another lap. I thought he almost run him off the track. Yeah. 6.31. 631. Look how close they came up, bro. Who's that? Uh, Alder on uh, London. Look how close that is now. I'm talking about the... Um, yeah, lead runners. You know, those two leads are not... Yeah, those are leads right out here. They're going to the, those guys. Now, look, London's getting passed. That's the that's first place. That's Where's the lead at? Right here. London just passed right there. That's the lead. And Alder's catching up to him. Right behind you. Okay. Come on, Gary, you look at the wrong runners. I sure was. There we go. There see all the Gary pass London from the lead. They got an awful lot of kick there to be. They got another lap to go after this. This is the lead here. Alright. So that's um Jeremy Collins, right? That's the leg. The last leg. Yeah. Not one left. These two guys got them mixed up. Yeah. So we do have a race for this for yep. the London and Alder. Their colors do look kind of orangey look. Mm -hmm. Do you see where that uh, kid from Ohio State, um, from Alder, got in trouble over the weekend? Yeah. That's still investigating. Yeah, no. That's his brother. They stay in the highlight, in the limelight over there, don't they? Yeah. Always something. London just got passed. Yeah. I had him with a big lead. <laughs> and yeah. we're now we're losing. Come on, then. Chris. Chris Lego, don't let him do that to you. He'll never make that up. This kid's stretching, buddy. Hey. Jonathan Alder's stretching out like he's almost in a 220. <laughs> or a 200. It's not 220 anymore, is it? Uh, As Alder wins in 454. You Four, your age right there. I know it. Well, that wouldn't show your age. They ain't been gone that long. Go over the final on that. 852.4. 852.4. Haven't had a 220 for 50 years. No, it's probably been maybe 10. Come on. Cheryl ran 220 because she holds the record in the 220, my daughter. So she I know they ran it when she was in school. <laughs> you think the you think that you think the last year she was there, that's when they got rid of it? You think she she probably been out 25 years, hasn't she? Ah, uh, me think. No. Now you're trying to make me be in a hundred. <laughs> she graduated in 81. So that's 21 years. There you go. There ain't no 25. Time flies, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Finish off this race here. Is these the last two competitors? Yeah. And my older boys got some kick here at the end of the race. You run off a hard to be that far behind. And Alder won the second, the boys' heat of the four by eight. So now we're getting ready for girls' 100 meter. They run high hurdles. Uh, this has got high, high hurdles, but I know. It's high for the girls. Okay. 
one one hundred meter high for the girls <laughs> hurdles. Is that how you say it? High for the girls hurdles, one hundred meters. And in lane one, we're going to have uh, oh, we got some names here. Blake from West Jeff. Lane two, we have Wiles from Jonathan Alder. Lane three, we have Tope from Madison Plains. In lane four, we have Stanball from London. In the five, we have Huber from West Jeff. Six is Yoakum from Jonathan Alder. Seven is Creamer from Madison Plains. And eight is O'Neill. That's London, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Did you say Ratman? She ran? Is her name not on here? No. Huh. I don't know, is she down there? I don't see her. Is Redmond Redman yeah, running she's, she's in there. She's in, must have been second heat. Okay, well, are we showing a second heat? Yeah, the second heat will have three girls. Okay. Yeah, Freshar, Winans, and Redman. Yeah. So we're getting ready for the first heat of the girls' 100 meter hurdles. Blake, Wilds, Tope. Stamball, Huber, Yoakum, Kramer, and O'Neill. So London's going to be in lane four and in lane eight. West Jeff is in one, five. Holder's in two, and six. And Plains is in three. And where are we at? Three and seven. Can you remember that? Because I can't. This is my first time to see the girl, uh, any of them run this year. Harry Nance. They're out there. Yeah. You have a radio to him? He's got the wireless mic. Because I want these guys to sit down the wall. Tell Terry Hill to get them down. And we have a race. Well, Glenn Wilt, the guy in the blue. And looks like, who's that jumped out front there? West Jeff. That's Blake from West Jeff. Being followed by Wilds from Alder. And Blake's going to win this in a time of 17-7. Blake from West Jeff. And we're getting ready for the second heat, girls. In lane two, we have Fresh R, Jonathan Alder, Winan, London, I guess that's how you say it, and uh, Redmond from London. I was told Redmond's pretty fast. What's she doing in this heat? Uh, I don't know. Unless, it's, is, does she run in 100? Nope. I don't know. They don't have her for the 100 today. I think she's been injured yeah. this year. <coughs> Tyree's talking about you know, he's running for tri team over in Homeless. Yeah. He said they had trouble getting starters. People running to meet. Really? He's not used to that either. No. Well, we only got two runners in this, and that's going to be uh, Holder. And uh, Fresh Art and Redmond from London. Ooh. Redmond looks like she wants to start. She clears them pretty good for as short as she is. <laughs> <laughs> looks funny, she's a little short. Like, look, she gets how many steps she takes between, her, between the hurdles? 18 4. So that finishes off the girls, and we go to the boys. He said, he said they had a, a starter showed up, didn't bring a gun. <laughs> he found a broken hurdle, and he just clapped it together. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, I know he's fine. That'd been a blooper. I bet he was losing the it on that. Meat. He's going to take two hurdles and slap them together for the gun. <laughs> yeah, whatever works, I guess. <laughs> Man, gum 
and didn't even bring his gun. Ain't that something? Uh, that's a shame. He couldn't bring it on, couldn't put it on the plane. Huh? He couldn't bring it on the plane. Yeah, there you go. They flew him in, took it away from him. We're getting ready for the boys' uh, 110 high hurdles. And we have um, Arnold from West Jeff. And let's see, West Jeff is in lane one, Arnold. And they've only got one runner. Uh, Riggs from Alder is in lane two. And um, Madison Plains has a runner in three and five, which would be Koenig and uh, Garrett. And for London, in lane four, we have Matt Russell. Uh, Johnson in lane six. Sawyer's in lane seven, and Hamden in lane eight. So London will be running in four, six, seven, and eight. And uh, Russell told me to keep an eye on him because he's going to run away with this. So. Oh, did he? Yep, so I'm going to hold him to it. Huh. There we are playing them bandanas. Yeah, I got those headbands. And you know they ain't sweating today. Mm. <laughs> if they're sweating today, they've really been working out hard. At least they got the rain over with. Because they're talking about rain late. You know, what yeah. You and then it's not past. There's still some rain behind it. Really? We may get it in. We've been lucky at some of these meets uh, that we've done before. It looked like it was stopped long enough for the meet to. Yeah. Look like it's clearing up even more. It's 6 o'clock. So we better keep an eye on time since we've been running. <laughs> Oh. Running steady. I might have wished I'd used the other tape. There we go. <laughs> Again. Yeah, we can always use two tapes and just edit it to another whole tape if we have to. So we're getting ready for the boys. 110 meter high hurdles. Arnold in lane one. West Jeff Riggs. John Nolder. Koenig, oh, Madison Plains, Russell, lane four. He said he's the man to watch. Garrett Plains in lane five. Johnson Sawyers in Hamden, six, seven, and eight. Quiet down front. Well, she must have got those guys to move. Too late. Russell's he's on top. Both London fellas are on top. That'd be Russell uh -oh. and uh, Johnson. And Russell's going to get beat by his own teammate? No, he didn't. Yep. Russell, what's the time of that? 16-9. You messed up on some of them hurdles. All right, Russ. That's all right. We got first and second out of it. Yep. As long as you share on teammate. Boys and girls, you should be at the starting line. Boys and girls, 100 meter dash. 100 meter dash. We don't change to the boys yet, do we? Still on the girls. So London got a first and second on that. Time was 16.9. I believe it was Johnson, but I'm not sure. You don't have to call him Johnson. Yeah, you definitely have to call me Johnson. Yeah, you can call me Ray. <laughs> So uh, are we doing, how are we looking on time? Uh, I know we just started. Uh, 49 minutes. We've already used 49 minutes. One, two. Well. Yeah, just, yeah, just hear the it. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Roll with the, um, this is the girls. <coughs> yep, 100 meter. 100 meter dash. We have Palmer. And John Lauder in one, Wilson, Madison Plains, in two, Bennett from London. They tell me she's really putting on a show this year. Uh, Carol, West Jeff in four, Tolliver, John Lauder in five, Atkins, Madison Plains in six, uh, Wilson, another Wilson. What's her name, Carl? Hey, Yvonne. Yvonne, Yvonne, yeah. Yvonne, yeah. Yvonne Wilson, let me say it right before I get in trouble. Yvonne Wilson in lane 10 from London. Lane 10? Yeah. <laughs> 
Lane, lane seven. This looks like a ten. Shut up. <laughs> Shut your mouth. And lane eight, we have Smith, <laughs> Jonathan Norder. Lane ten. Yeah, look over here. It says L O, but it looks like a ten. We don't even have a lane ten. So London's rolling out of three and and ten. <laughs> three and seven. 10-7. There you go. I had it all right. 3 and 7 equals 10, according to Carl. Who we got out sticking out here first? Oh. Well, we got a race here. Uh oh. It looks like it could be an inside lane. I don't know who won that. Uh oh. I couldn't tell. 13-9 was the time. And it looked like it came between uh, Alder and, uh, and London and Wilson and uh, Bennett and Wilson. Yeah. It looked like Bennett may have been able to stretch out at, at the line and pull it out. Girls, um, be sure we're live. Uh, in lane two, we have Saxon from Plains, Juan London from London, in three Yoder from Alder, in four. Grove from Plains in five, and Witchman from London in six. Good luck. What place you get? What? There you go. <laughs> I just heard Wilson. She said she thinks she got first, so. Let's start following her around. Yeah. And we have a race here. We ended up with three runners. Two from London and one from Alder. And Alder, that's Yoder. And Yoder's going to take this in a time of 13.9. That's what Yvonne got. That's what the other one's got. 13.9. Uh. Sure was, man. I'm a dang on tight. Now, what's she doing? What's in she that doing heat? in that heat? Yeah. And wasn't pushed either. You got set. You that would have really been a first. Yeah. That one was 13.9, man. All right, go on. So, uh, okay. 100 meter dash. Four by 200 meter relay. And uh, four lane one, we have Bradley from Alder. Lane two, we have Miller from Madison Plains. Lane three, we have Alcott from London. Lane four, we have Huffman from West Jeff. Uh, lane five, we have Bates from Jonathan Alder. Lane six, we have Lift from Madison Plains, uh, Walters from London in lane seven, and Arnold Alder, Arnold from West Jeff in lane eight. So that's Bradley, Miller, Alcott, Huffman, Bates, Lift, Walters, and Arnold. London lanes does lane lane three and lane seven. From here, it didn't look like she was. She won that race. It's hard to tell from well, here. Well, the angle you can't yeah. tell. I knew, knew she was up there, though. It looked like she got a good start. Yeah, she did get off real good. That's, she's been kind of struggling. Once she again, don't forget your relay cards. Girls and boys, 4 by 200 meter relay. Have your relay card with you. Well, I talked to um, uh, Lori's dad last night. Mm -hmm. He said that she hadn't been beat this year. So maybe uh, Wilson was saving for the big race. <laughs> County champ. We got another Huffman. He'll come out of there smoking. Mm. Oh, be sure we're up, Carl. London, lane seven and lane three. Watch lane uh, four, Huffman. He usually comes out strong. He may a little bit be a little bit stronger than the 200. He didn't get too good of a start. A holder's kicking out there. Looks like from here, looks like older in a time of 11-8. 
Look like Bradley from here. From Alder? Yeah, from Alder. 11 8. Two runners. Scurry didn't get in this, huh? Lane 6 is Nelson. And lane 4, Kraus, Alder, and London. Alder and 4. Yeah, Alder got off to us. How can he call that a false start? He just kind of failed, didn't he? He slipped. I mean, there's nobody holding his, uh, right. holding the what's name. That's tough. And uh, he just uh, shoved it back. Hold, shoved the blocks back. You know, if you don't have somebody there to. Uh huh. Uh, they they have uh, you're allowed a false start now. Mm mm. He he probably just did that because it was equipment or something. Yeah. Like I say. Man, we would won that race. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. He had already passed us when he shot the gun the second time. Twelve five. Kraus. No, he uh. Yeah. He had, um. We're getting ready for the girls' four by two meter, four by two hundred meter relay, and in lane two, we have Madison Plains. In lane three, we have London. In lane four, we have West Jeff. And Jonathan Alder A is in lane five, and Jonathan Alder B is in lane six. So that's their way of set up right now. Two, three, four, five, and six: Plains, London, West Jeff, Alder, and Alder. This is a four by two. And I don't have any names for the people that's running in it. I guess we're up, Carl. <laughs> yeah. You're saying, yeah, you, oh, you see the light? No, I can see the light. See it turn. Four by two girls. Planes in lane two. London in lane three. West Jeff in four and Alder in five and six. Let's get this race rolling. Now they had to put down another block. Hmm. We're strong out there. Alder A5, Jonathan Alder B6. Wow. Alder must have a lot off the track. Got a lot of people running anyway. Mm -hmm. They haven't had their their track too long. They were probably like us running in the parking lot for years. Yeah. On your marks. He told me on your marks, and I see a girl still stretching down there. What is she doing? I'm just starting out with this one there. Taking her own good time, she must be good. <laughs> That's older up there, isn't it? See what that girl older does in this race. Four by two. Yeah, I can see right now she's faster than her teammate. I got a feeling she might be the fastest one out there. All you need is the weakest link. Yeah. Yeah, they got the first exchange. Let keep your hand, man. Right, let her hand. Uh -oh, one on one side. Ooh, you still got a lot to make it. Yep. Wow. Oh, Holder stepped out there pretty quick. London's running, uh, is that London in second and third or no? Uh, third. London's running in third right now. I don't know. Second. Now who's that running for London? Is that Redmond? Oh. Too big? It's Wilson. Is it Wilson? Okay. 
Oh, Corey. Okay, I forgot about her being in school. Uh oh, she can't. So she raced with London. Last runner. Uh, it's Jackie Brady. Can she run? Yeah. I got some of my up here knows the girls. That the Come people, on. the kids, that'll help. Somebody, look at that kicker London's got there on the third leg. Come on. Or the last leg. Inside That's Brady with the baton now? Yep. So none of the girls are trying to, trying to take this one. Yeah. Don't quit till you cross the line. All right. London. Woo! Good race. Yeah, they made it uh... two. Forward 200 meter relay, and in lane two we have Madison Plains. In lane three we have London A. They're the A team. <laughs> in lane four we have West Jefferson. In lane five we have Jonathan Alder. And... On that yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's still down Arton <laughs> at your party. Yeah. <laughs> in lane six we have London the B team. And I have Mr. Ladd up here in the, in the background, and you're more than welcome to fill in any time you want, Mr. Ladd, since I'm sure you still know most of these kids. They've got the people that are running. And, uh... We're rolling. Sweats off and stand at your box. Sweats off and stand at your box. Well, I guess cold weather, they get the... Yeah. They add that one, sweats off. <coughs> Plains in two, London in three, West Jeff in four, Alder in five, and London B team in six. Who you know the runners for London, Mr. Ladd? Actually, can't I, tell from here? I can't. I don't know. I do not know who's in lane three for London right now. In lane uh, seven, Set. looks like it's Nelson. Whoa. It looked like he ran about six spot steps in one what spot in there. The world? <laughs> Who is that? Is that Alder? That's John. Alder just ah. shot out there, didn't he? He got shot out of the can. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's leaning in. He the... sure is. He got, he, he's fighting the wind, ain't he? He's got the leaning. Is he going to run out? No, he's going to get ready. Look at Alder. Uh oh well, look at Jeff right on his tail. Oh, jeez. Jeff's making up some time, too. Warner Fuffman's in this race. Alder stroking big time. I see Jeff uh, fired there, basketball coach, and then hired him back. Bad exchange for Jeff, or they might have been a big time race for this third leg here. We still got Alder on top. And Madison Plains is trying to sneak in the second place there. Yeah. London's bringing up the rear. Uh oh. I think Alder. Alder. That's what it was. Oh. Is that Huffman stretching out there? No. They got some big boys from West Jeff. Their football team will be pretty tough unless they graduate. That's Huffman. Yeah. Look at them muscles on it, boy. And he's going to get beat. And finishing time of 13. One minute and 37.8, I think it was. And who won that race, Carl? Alder? Quite a race for second place. I'm not sure who got second place in that. I think Huffman got beat out. We got uh, Lamerson for London. I guess I was wrong if I if I did say it over the air that the girls are going to run by themselves. But there's a boo of boys too, Carl. Wait and see how many is in there. Lamerson uh, in lane one. Wilson, from West Jeff, Mitchell from Jonathan Alder, Wright from Madison Plains, Bab from London. 
and they're Richards from Johnson Alder and Boone from Johnson Alder. So your two London runners are Lamberson and Bab. And I would venture to say that Lamberson is your favorite. What do you think, here, Mr. Ladd? Well, since uh, she just broke the school record. Oh, uh, she did? She is the new school record for London High School in the 1600 meters. On Saturday, she smashed the old record that was 519.4. Five she ran a 5 at 13 at their Banner Invitational. Mm. Ain't that something? And she said she told us she's going for her best in the Liga, or was that today? No, was, uh... Is that when she said she's going to do it? Because we talked to her at the, at the ball game. Oh, yeah. That's probably why they didn't do it, Carl. There's 12 runners in the boys. If she gets out there and keeps that pace almost the whole time around, so now that she holds the record, she's going to have to push herself now. Yeah, she is. It's amazing how she can just push herself when there's nobody against her. She ran that 513 with no competition. Is that right? Were you there? I was not there, but that's what they tell me. She was a good. I was, I was getting ready to jump on you because you said you hadn't been to a meet this year. I haven't been to a meet. This year. <laughs> First meet I've seen. You know I got to ride you. Yeah. Next week. So you running track up at uh, where are you going Mount, to school at? Mount Union College. Mount Union, okay. Yeah, I run track there. But are you winning? Am I winning? Now my team's <laughs> doing pretty well. We finished uh, 15th in the nation for cross country. Is that right? And that's for Division three schools and uh, 12th in Division three for indoor track. That's good. You go ahead. That's where Tommy Wilson went to school. Yeah, Tommy was the, Tommy is actually the fifth leading scorer in uh, at, in basketball history at uh, Mountain Union. Oh, really? Yeah. We got a history buff here, Carl. Yeah, right. We had put we had put out some uh, uh, trivial questions. We give you some stats like Zach. Oh yeah, Zach. Zach had him down, didn't he? <laughs> Zach was probably right too. <laughs> Say Tommy was the fifth leading scorer. Fifth leading scorer in Mount Union history. Mount Union history. Yep. How about that, Tommy Wilson? You learned that in school up there. Yep, actually, uh, my job. I work for the sports information office, so I know a lot of stats. There you go. Do you know how many points he scored, or what kind of scoring he did? I think he. I know it was over a thousand. Um, I think we have about twenty-five over the thousand-point mark at Mount Union history right now. And that's probably rare because they don't win no basketball games. No, we don't. <laughs> I remember Tommy telling me about that. When he's a freshman, the coach said, if whoever, if they don't stop the other team from getting 100 points, they're going to have to run 100 laps. And the uh, score got up to about 92 and then 94, and Tom was on the bench as a freshman. That's when he got his starting job. He jumped up and hollered, just hold the ball. They can't score. Don't even shoot. They can't score if we hold the ball. And the coach said, you're the only one who knew how to beat, how to keep him from getting 100 points. You, you'll be a star, and he started from then on. Well, this year, uh, the Raiders at Mount Union beat uh, Otterbein, the division. No, they didn't. They beat him by 50 points. But that was without Gibbs, the NCAA division okay. player. Okay, okay, I'm going to say. Well, that's a big thing here. Yeah, they should be an asset. They beat the uh, NCAA champs. Yeah. There you go, Tom. Too bad you wouldn't ever see that. Lamberson's all alone. Go ahead. One lap to go for Lamberson. And she's going to be at about a 4.05. That's one lap to go. 4.02. That's one lap to go. Boy, long jumpers, you have 10 minutes left in open pit. Boy, long jumpers. So is she on pace to break her record? Uh, no, she's not going to break the record today. But, uh, I don't think this is the weather to even try. Yeah, no. I don't think that this is a great uh, meet to be trying to break a record, but next week she'll be running, running against uh, the, two th the year 2000's uh, cross-country state champion, Abby Reeser. She's a senior from Circleville. She'll be running against her. And uh, that is the only person that's ever beat Alethea this year. And uh, Alethea, Alethea lost her about by about 10 meters last uh, time they met, so Alethea's going to be after some blood this time. I heard that. We got, the, you'll be here for the BAC champ? I'll be here for the BAC championships. They'll probably have you working on one thing. I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> so you're, you're planning on being, like to be an AD? I'd like to be an AD, yeah. 
Could I ask you who influenced you to be an AD? Oh, there's no doubt about that. That's Terry Nance. I heard that. And Alethea, your leader, is coming up on the back stretch, home stretch, to take the win. The Madison County champion, the 1600 meters. But she wasn't too far off that record there, Carl. 524.4. Five. Run machine, ain't she? Yes, she is. Here's your second place. Lois Wright of Madison Plains. And she'll break six easily. 548.2. And then it drops off a little bit. Yeah. What was your best time ever, lad? In the mile? Yeah. <laughs> not too much better than Alethea. <laughs> He's not going to tell us. Now, I never really ran the mile. Uh, I, I, was, I was more of a two-miler, but my best time really in high school was the 5.02. So I never broke the five-minute mile. I'm sure I could do it now. But. Whoa! I heard that. Uh -oh. Mount Union done pep, pepped him up. <laughs> and catcher and bat of London crosses the line. 6.23. <laughs> Good finish for catcher. Good job. Our next runner is Alder from Alder. They have two runners, so I don't know who that is. Is she the last one? I don't see more runners. And then we got one oh, up yeah. here by the pub. And then we got one over there. Oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> That's what we used to say about you. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> I had to say that. You know that. <laughs> you know I'm just kidding. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we go back and check the tape. Yeah. I'm sure I was slow. <laughs> <coughs> you got run Smith, though, didn't you? Who? who? Smith. Who the heck Smith? He was on your team last year. Smith. <laughs> Tall kid. <laughs> Played basketball this year. Joe Smith? Yeah. He wasn't on this team. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Not that I know of. I can't remember. Oh, there's the Jonathan Otter finish. <laughs> he ran. Didn't Joe Smith run track? <laughs> I really don't remember Joe Smith running track. Are you serious? No. Well, there's somebody <laughs> sure looked like him, man. <laughs> <laughs> he might have. I don't know. <laughs> That's terrible. Don't even know your, own, know. Don't even know your own team rate, rate mates. He didn't know the guys was in front of him. That's <laughs> yeah, good humor. Where's this other girl at? She just crossed the line. 1,600 meter run. We have Collins, Keene. Okay, from London, we have Collins and Carter. How do you say that? Oh, jeez, I have no foreign exchange. Dude. Severno. <laughs> That's good enough in Dominguez. You got that right. <laughs> From West Jeff, we have Keen. Let me see who else. Nichols. I'll pronounce that for you. What was, which one? Okay, hold on. Right here. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that awful. <laughs> and from John Norton, we have Mahan and Bishaw, Bishaw and Blakesley. And who <laughs> we got left? Madison Plains. Gears. Plains only got one runner. And Scott. That covers them all. You know, it's just getting the lanes because it won't be there very long. Yeah. Probably the race is going to be between uh, London's Collins and Johnson Otter's Mahon. Uh, both can break five minutes. I don't know about this West Jeff kid taking the lead there, so we'll have to see about him. These West Jeff kids usually look, they run pretty good in the fast, the quicker events, the shorter sprints. Yeah. Both West Jeff kids are going to go up there and set the pace, I guess. You used to be a pace setter, didn't you? Huh? What did you say? I'm sorry. You used to be a pace setter for the first two, two laps. I would say yes. Rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> 
Yeah, they run quick and quit, don't they? Hide. We got Carl King on the camera, and the wind's blowing up hard, so if it's a kind of a fuzzy, wavy picture, blame it on the wind. You see my Han and uh, Collins move into second and third, but 115 split for Collins. That's a pretty good first lap. Collins is um, London, right? Yes. Jeremy Collins, a senior. Is this a pretty good pace for this or not? Uh, yeah, I'd say for the uh, circumstances today and this meet, it's a pretty good start. And London's staying right up here with him. And you predicted uh, Mayen and Collins would be the two top finishers, huh? That's what I say. We okay. Have top two finishers, and they have taken control of this race. Mahon has uh, Jonathan Alders ran a 4.45 this year. Collins has ran a 4.57. That's his best this year, but has been down to a 4.47 last year. So let's see if he can get down there again this year. This All right, let's get the two London kids right here. We got Josh, Car Josh Carter and uh, Justin Dominguez. All right up there at the finish line. And uh, the foreign exchange student, <laughs> Smith. Uh, that, now, now that's terrible. Where, 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 you, where we got him at again? Severino. Severino. Oh, that's good enough. <laughs> Sever, Severino. S-E-V-E-R-I-N-O. He'll, he'll, he'll see this, too. <laughs> Probably. I'm going to tell him who did it. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know me, so he doesn't know who it is. I bet he can catch you. <laughs> He's got too much hair. It's holding him back. Here comes your leaders, and uh, looks like Alders picked it up, kind of stretched it out there. He's looking back. He's got one to go. He got the gun. He just got shot. It's a pretty good pace. Let's see if he can break five here. Looks like he's picking it up. Can he keep at the rest of the race? Here we got the group of London runners again, and Severno is stepping in. He said he wasn't going to be last. And the leader is making the final turn. And that's the one you predicted, huh? Mayhem. Yep. John Nolder. He's still looking back. He didn't have to look too far back. He's looked sideways now. He was the uh, 1600 meter runner-up in the conf in the county last year to John Rucker, at Madison Plains. But now he has that championship to his name, and he broke five. And London's Collins is just cruising it on him. Yeah, he just he's got, got a two, second, so he's why? got a two mile to go today. So. And he's got a second, so I guess time will make a difference now. Yeah, it wasn't going to be his best time, just cruising on in. Wow. 5.20. <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet he's not too pleased about that. <laughs> he stepped over the finish line. <coughs> he fell over the finish line. And Dominguez is going to race for a position here. He don't know he's been coming up, does he? Yeah. Here he goes, here we go. Here Come we go. on, Justin. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got another race going up. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, he raised his hand. I'll disqualify me jumping finally. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> I believe that's everybody. Yeah, we got it finished. Had some good races there. Girls, four by one. Change on three is ready. And we got West Jeff in two. Jonathan Alder, A in three. Mass and Plains in three. Jonathan Alders in. Let me get this front. Let me back up and start over again. What? West Jeff in two. Alders in three. Plains in four. London's in five. And Alder B is in six. So London is in five, Alder's in uh, three and six. Looks like they, uh, Jonathan Alder pulled out one of their teams. Okay, yeah, we're only showing four teams now, aren't we? Four by one. This ought to be getting around there. Who's the lead runner for London? Alex Caravan's going to hand it off to Lori Bennett. Her Bennett's supposed to be pretty quick. She didn't have an opportunity to run last year. She got injured the first meet of the season. So. Is that what it was? Yeah. I watched her in basketball, and I, and I never thought she was that fast, but she surprised she's me. Quick. She's quick. And Corey Wilson. And another Wilson with the last leg. Y uh, Yvonne? Yvonne. Yvonne. Vani. Got a good exchange, too. And Jonathan Miller's trying to come on, but it's just not going to happen. I think Wilson's been hurt there for a while, and she's just been running her best today. And Lennon's going to win in a time of five. 53 1, huh? 53 yep. 1. London is your winner of that heat, that race. And now we go to the boys. Four by one. Next event will be the girls of the boys, 400 meter dash. Boys, four by one. West Jeff is in two. Alder's in three. Plains is in four. London's in five. And Alder's in six. Do we have six lanes? One, two, three. <laughs> We've got 10, though. Once again, we're only showing how many runners. We were short a team. You got four teams out there? Lane assignments in the boys, four by one. Yeah, Make sure they are in these lanes. West Jefferson, two. two. Jonathan Alder, A, and three. Madison Plains, in four. London, in five. Jonathan Alder, B, in uh, six. That's six. Change on one, ready? One, two, three, four. There's five teams. Two is ready. Number Those two look like they're right on top of each other, don't they? The older shot two in there. So London's in five. Yep. At least you can tell the difference with their colors. Way the BACs, you can't tell who's what. <laughs> Seems like everybody got red. My schools have blue too. <laughs> Courthouse usually stands out because they usually beat everybody. Yeah. I am. We are rolling, aren't we? Yep. Uh oh. Well, I'll start. Somebody's out. It looked like he did. Sure. It's going to be uh, Josh Dillard, uh, Josh Alcott, Tyler Bennett. Scurry in this one? No, Scurry is not in this one. This is uh, Walters is going to finish it up. I haven't seen Scurry run today. I got him listed here. Got a good start. Who's that running the runner? And this is Dillard, Dillard right? handing the baton off to Josh Alcott. Oh, yeah. yeah Alcott smoked out, didn't he? <laughs> I didn't know he was that. He cooking, ain't he? Put his chest out and said. He's leaning backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Bennett running oh, the curve. Another good handoff. How about these exchanges for London? This last one's got to work. Here comes West Jeff. Though. Yeah, they're sneaking around the inside there, aren't they? West Jeff's always had a pretty good. Got a good exchange. Another good exchange. Walters. 
Yeah. And Huffman's not going to catch him. Jerry Walters of London. London's going to win this the Red one. Raiders. In a time of 46. 46 flat. 46. <clears throat> London. <clears throat> Boys look like this rolling. Give me a 400 meter relay. Or 400 meter dash. At least done the relay. Uh, Murphy. Husick. Limes. Huber. Hostetler. How you like that? <laughs> Lostrom, Daniels, and White. From London, we have Daniels and Limes. Manager blocks. They're in lane three and lane seven right now. On your marks. Where do you get a cut in? Never. Never? Not That's cutting in this race. Stay in your lane the whole way. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> must say probably the favorite of this race could be Husek at Madison Cut. Plains. But we'll see. How do you get lane choices in these in these uh, county races? I really don't know how he does it. It could just be luck of the draw. Or they could turn times in. I'm not really sure how they do it. Whoa. They ought to be coming what together here in a little bit. What the heck was that? <laughs> Who's going to try to sneak up on the inside there? Jonathan Alder's trying to challenge Husek. Or probably when you're in the outside lane, it seems like you're running forever. Well, yeah. it's a Madison Plains girl, but it's not Husek. Who is it? I don't have Plains. Uh, wait a minute. Husek, um, Lostrom. Lostrom. Finishing Lowstra. one. Low straw or low straw. And Husek's two. And a time of one minute and 6.8. Six, six. Six. Oops. Low straw. Low straw. It might be straw. S T R O. Second he the girls. And we have a ham from Alder. O'Neill from London, Pickett from Alder, and Ward from London. Machina from uh, Madison Plains, M U H, M U K H I N A. Machina. <laughs> it ain't fair. You <laughs> have <a> shorter route. <laughs> and our leader right now is. That's a London runner, isn't it? So London's going to take first and second in this heat. You know who that is? Finish it. Time of one ten one. One minute, ten point one seconds. Get up. Get up. First heat. You have John Lauder, Kirk from Madison Plains in two, Brock from London in three. Brock, is he running? No, that ain't Brock. Okay, he's not running. Who is that? Standard blocks? Um, Peters, no, that yeah, might be. Peters in four, Rap in five, Garrett in, in six from Madison Plains, Edley's in seven, but they've moved him down to uh, yeah. three, to and, Brock's place. And Hodge is out there. Okay, and Hodge in is in seven. Yeah. And uh, Peters in eight from West yeah. Jeff.
What charge is that? Vincent. That's not the one that throws the discus, is it? Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they stride out there. Uh -oh, up on the yeah, we got John Lauder cooking on the inside there. Lane one. Fiani. I don't know, I guess that's how you say it. F A I N I. So we got Alder taking up the lead, and Plains is running second right now. Headley's got a chance to get a third, but he's going to have to kick off a hard. He's trying. I think he's going to get it, Carl. Oh, she smelled him. Alder got first anyway. Jonathan Alder wins that race. And I didn't catch the time. Did you get it? <laughs> I think it's like. Am I down? Uh -oh. 300 meter low hurdles. And in lane one, we have Creamer from Madison Plains. In lane two, we have Stamball from London. Uh, Blake from West Jeff in three. Wilds from Jonathan Alder in four. Tope from Madison Plains in five. Odie from London in six. Yoder from Alder in seven. And Pickett. From Alder in eight. So we got London in two and six. And they're the only ones, well, West Jeff, they get this program. Uh, Blake in from West Jeff in three. Most of the other schools, schools don't get the, don't have cable in the channel 25. This is WLHS bringing you <laughs> Madison County track me. Championships. Boy, they got off to a slow start. Yeah. I hope he cleared that first one pretty clean. I didn't even see her clear it. From here, it looks like she might be. In the lead. Yep. They're running pretty close now, aren't they? Yeah, they got that turn, so they, they're up with you. Yep. They're about even. I think, uh. Come on now. Mass and Plains just took the lead. Who's that running from Plains? You're going to run through the hurdles. Okay, okay. West Jeff. Black. Blake from West Jeff. Come on, Odie. Odie's got, got a chance. She got it. She got it now. Yeah, she got it. And Odie's oh, yeah, going to come out of win in a time of 52. Oh. Flat. He might, got, he might have got second, too. It's close. I didn't catch the second runner. Good race. Look, is this girl still running? Yeah. You missed it. You, you, she, you just should, let's see how she gets over that one. She gets over that one. <laughs> At least she finished the race. All right. Carrying <laughs> out on the track. <laughs> She's, um, 300 meter intermediate hurdle. Uh, Swires in lane one from Plains. Bennett in lane two from London. Riggs, John Nolder in lane three. Liff from um, Madison Plains in four. Russell from Ma from London in five. Maybe this is the one he's talking about. He's gonna win. He told me he's gonna win the hundred. Russell's down here. He ain't there. He's not there. He ain't over there. Evidently, they, they pulled him out. He's nice yeah. on the paper here. Uh, Palmer in lane six from Alder. Johnson from London in lane seven, and uh, Hamden from London in lane eight. All right, Mr. Vincent. So boys. Russell's not in that. Will be the boys' eight hundred meter run. Mm. Boys and girls' eight hundred meter run. So you can begin forming in the red bench behind the scores platform. Here. Boys. Swires, Bennett, Riggs, Liff, Palmer, Johnson, and Hamden. London runners look like they're in two. It's supposed to be seven and eight. Mm, 
knocking over hurdles? Mm. Who we got out front here? At West Jail? Mass and Plains. Mass and Plains in the green. Plains in London. Lane one and two. Swires and Bennett. Swires and Bennett. Now it's Bennett and Swires. Yeah. Bennett and Swires. Bennett and Swires. Bennett is the winner leader in 43.5. Heard Wilson holler go get him. Did he holler go get him? Yeah, he went and got him. That's coaching. Mm -hmm. You know, you know he's got a job because he's coaching um, track and it's going to go right into football. And uh, that doesn't leave much time, much family time. My hat's off to him because that's, that's a job and a half. My hat's off to his wife, too. It takes a good wife to be able to deal with that, too. So good luck to you in all, all, all phases of whatever you're coaching. Girls, 800-meter run. And I'm seeing one. Uh, according to my uh, paperwork here, we have Richardson for London and uh, Keno from London. Is that how you say that, Keno? Yeah, do you know a Keno? No, uh, I think she's like Chinese or Japanese. Okay. And uh, from West Jeff, we have uh, Wilson. <laughs> Shut up, Carl. And a Murray. And from Jonathan Arlo, we have a Hostetler, okay. Richard, okay, Pickett, and Boone. They've got four runners in this. And uh, from Massman Plains, we have Husick. I think I got everybody. Eight hundred meters. They're they're staggered, but they they can cut in after the first uh, this uh, turn coming up a stretch. Third turn. 800 meter run, girls. Uh oh, I seen that. That start is going to be. This going to take some time. Yeah. <laughs> some of them look like come out like it's uh, doing a little hopscotch or something. Yeah. A couple of them went by. <laughs> looked like it didn't. Yeah, when you get around there, get to look at it. Give me an idea how much time we're okay. dealing with. We still got. 137. Okay. We got about six more races. Counted seven with that 3,200 meter run. And in the lead is in lane one, number London Richardson. Is she uh, supposed to? Have a record or something? No, she uh, set the um, pole vault record, record today. Seven foot six. That's Richardson uh, in the red there. Running in second place right now for London. Shattered she the old record. Shattered the old record by two inches. Richardson. Richardson. Running for London in third place is Kino. Right over there telling him to go. Hey, is he? Yeah, he's over there coaching. <coughs> he's a good kid. Mount Union. Uh oh. Say he's going into either A B and A D or some kind of big time in professional sports, uh, sports med or something like that. We still got a race here. And it's plain, it's um, Come on, Plains in London. He's got the kick. Plains in London. He's got the kick. Richardson's running second. He's got the She's kick. trying to pull. He's got the kick. Richardson and Wilson. Who's got the kid? Now it's Richardson. She's stepping it off. Richardson's going to win this one. In a time of. Oh, yeah. 
2 minutes and 39.9 seconds. 239.9. Richardson from London. West Jeff runs second. Yep, you got to get see somebody to chase, I guess. Keno gets a third, so there's adding up some points for London. Yep. And we have, we're going to have a race for fourth place here, Carl. Nope, guess we're not. I hope I was up when I was supposed to be up. I gotta figure this light out. We had it once. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna stand it up, stand up. Well, I need some exercise. Huh? We got the boys to run that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, for London, we have uh, Jackson and Schof, Colvin, and Gigolo for London. For West Jeff, we have Keen, Nichols, and that's all we have for West Jeff. For Jonathan Lauder, we have Mayon, um, Livesay. Blakesley and Bischel. And for Madison Plains, we have Scott Swires. And we're going to have two runners for Madison Plains. So those are your runners Jackson, Keen, Nichols, Mayon, Schott, Swires, <coughs> Schof, Livesay, Calvin, Gigolo, Blakesley, and Bischel. <laughs> Some of these words are kind of <laughs> tricky to say. Somebody ought to set you up. B I X H S E L. Say it. Just put some scribble, scribble down there and have you. <laughs> <laughs> set you up. I, they don't have to set me up. I was just trying to say some of these names. I'm already set up. <laughs> we got one here L I V E S A Y. Live say or live say. Or live -a Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> You're no help. Come on, Monte. What in the world? So, it's either somebody throwing oh, something underneath of it. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And you get every vibration it gives you up in here. Monte Jackson's running in the lane one. Once again, our next event, girls and boys, 200 meter dash. Your bullpen is at the starting line of the 200 meter dash. He kicked girls out of there pretty boys, fast. Dash, following this boy's 800 meter run. Don't look like he ran away 800, Sure don't. He stretched out of there real quick. Maybe he wanted to get about a 40 meter lead. He's got about a 30 meter lead, ain't he? Right now. Can he keep it up? London's in running first and second. And Alder's right in there with him. Alder just took over second and third. He's slowing down a little bit of you that or they're picking it up. Cause they're No, he looks like he's stretch, stretching that gap out, Carl. I think I got a feeling Monte looks like he's pulling away. Going to go wire to wire. Monte Jackson. Some instructions. Yeah. You got them orange shoes on. Monte Jackson stretching it out. 
He's going to finish in a time of two minutes and five and two tenths seconds. Monte Jackson, London. And we got a race for. Nope, we did have a race. <laughs> Dash, I guess I'm rolling in my car. Yep. Um, in lane one, we have uh, Carol from West Jeff. In lane two, we have Palmer from Jonathan Alder. This is the girls. In lane three, we have Dennison from Madison Plains. In lane four, we have Wilson from London. In lane five, we have Dilly from West Jeff. In lane six, we have Flora from Jonathan Alder. In lane seven, Lostro, Lostro from Madison Plains and uh, Bennett in lane eight for London. So there you have London in lanes uh, four and eight, West Jeff in lane one and five, Alders in two and six, and Plains is in three and seven. This is the 200 meter dash, girls. Roll here. Do we have to wait for Nancy to make it to the starting line? Uh, or finish line? No. Put the clock on him. He's jogging up there. I'm surprised he didn't take the cart. Let's mm. be in shape this year. Yep. Show off. <laughs> So you got your personal best down to under 190, <laughs> yeah. looking all trim. I might get a picture of you. You gotta ride that unicycle. Oh yeah, I'm definitely trying to. I'm gonna sneak out there and catch you on that unicycle. And, I'm gonna tear that fence down. <laughs> and put it on one of these tapes. It's tough. I never paid any attention to it. It didn't, just didn't seem like it would be, but I guess it is. Kind of hard to ride a unicycle. Mm. Looks like Wilson's got some competition coming out of lane two. Who's in lane two? Jonathan Otter, Palmer. Palmer and Wilson. Palmer and Wilson. Palmer and Wilson. It's still Palmer and Wilson. And it's going to finish Palmer and Wilson. 28. Finishing 28 seconds. Point oh. <coughs> Dash, we have Yoder in one. Makina in two from Madison Plains. Yoder from Alder. Young from London in four. What young is that? We got a ham from Alder in five. I've got a ham from Horner. Boy, that didn't sound right, did it? Uh, Sexton from Madison Plains in six, and Byers in seven. H A M M. Ham, Jonathan Alder, lane five. Makina in lane three from Madison Plains. If you see this and I'm saying your name wrong, feel free to see. If you see me on the street, to tell me, hey, you don't say my name, that's wrong. Well, we got a race here. Lane three, you got Young and three for London. Right now, she's in the lead. Tom Norris got a heck of a stride there in lane two, but she's not going to catch up. We're going to have a fight for three. Looks like uh, Jeff is trying to slide in there three, and uh, plane split in three, and London wins it. Four, 31. 31.0. In lane one, we have Rees from West Jeff. In lane two, we have Omert from Jonathan Alder. In lane three, Miller, Madison Plains. 
lane four scheduled to be Brock. I don't know who it is. Lane five is Arnold from West Jeff. Lane six is Bradley from Jonathan Alder. Lane seven is Kirk from Madison Plains and Jerry Walters in lane eight for London. Let's see if there's any changes in lane four. Who was scheduled to be Brock? Who is that, Carl? Our next event following the boys' 200 meter dash will be the girls and the boys' 3200 meter. We're getting ready for the boys' 200 meter, and there goes the pole vaulter. See if he gets up. Ooh. Oh, and he lands on it. We got a long distance shot of it. Um, once again, Ree Zumert, Miller, Arnold, Bradley, Kirk, and Walters. Uh, and it could be Dillard. Yeah, that is Dillard. Dillard. Dillard's probably in there in place of Brock. Now, what's his first name? Josh. Josh Dillard, okay. Alder's trying to take care of this one. They're all tightening up. That looks like it might go to Alder. It's pretty close. I don't know who won that race. 24 2. What was the time? 24 2. 24 2. 3,200 girls. And we have London, Mitchell, Madison Plains, Wright, Kennedy, London. Richard, Jonathan Nolder, Wright, Madison Plain. We got two Wrights from Madison Plain. And Brady from London. Yeah. They might run away with this. 3,200 meter run. What's that, eight times around? Yeah. Mm. And we're looking at how much time? Uh, Ruth's best time is 12 minutes and 23 seconds. Well, she's out front. So, and we still got 50. Yeah. And the one race should take 10 minutes. We're going to be pushing it. Yeah, I know you ain't going to. You going to film this whole race? Uh, we'll probably do... Um, what do we want to get up? How much you want to get up? Right now we got London leading in the um, 32. What'd you say her best time was? 12. 12. That's uh, Kennedy. Kennedy from London is going for her personal best, which will be right around 12 minutes. Got to pull water from London. He just cleared that. That's Alder. Is that Alder? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can just go right over and pick up Kennedy. Kennedy's in her second lap. And following up Kennedy, we have... Um, Madison Plains, and it's one of the rights. We have two rights in there, so I can't go wrong on that call, can I? Yeah. And then London, which would be Brady, because we only have two London runners. If uh, we don't use it all, you'll have some work editing when you get home. Yeah, we'll try to use it all. Not much to get, yeah. except watching them run around the track for yeah. eight times. Be different if it's close. And nobody doing pole vault right now. Just make sure we're live. <laughs> we haven't had any bloopers for a while, have we? Getting tired. Makes a long day, though, doesn't it?
by standing up. Do you need credits for this? No. He's going to fool us. Here we go. I believe it's a John Nolder jumper. Mm. He went under it. Mm -hmm. He did go under it. Yeah, he slipped down the pole. He's, 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 yeah, he's psyched out. He's, he's completely psyched out. <laughs> we still got a lot of time to race. There are only seven minutes, so I know we got another four or five minutes left in this race. We'll pick up Jamie, not Jamie, but um, Kennedy here in a minute. I think that's when it went over the first time. I don't know. There's a London jumper out there. Uh, Paul yeah, Water still. He did, didn't he? He did, didn't he? That's eight minutes, so I would say at least three. After she passes and finishes her name, she'll two more. Two more, okay. Come on, Luke. Well, she's passing people. Well, she's going after her PR, isn't she? Yeah. yeah. What'd she say? London, she raised Okay. London pole boulder. Oh, he, yeah. He went over backwards. Mm -hmm. He went over almost like a high jump. Uh-huh. Made it, though. Yeah. Like That's going. good, but i never seen nobody go over yeah. like that. Usually they're turning and Look they're like looking at the pole when they come down. He kind of lost his form, but he still did. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't have a clue how <laughs> high it is. Oh, two more laps. Two? Well, she's got one more after this one. Wow. She'll get the gun. She, they'll shoot her when she comes around this time. Whoa. Ruthie Kennedy. Where you she's over there at the 200 meter start. Pick it up on last lap. We'll just stay with her and see what happens. Maybe we'll pick up another pole vaulter in the meantime. The boys have been winning a lot of meets. And I've been looking in the paper, and I haven't seen, been seeing that many first places. So they must be picking up a lot of points in uh, all the in the field and the other places, placing events. You could probably go out and run that, couldn't you? You what? You could probably run that two mile, couldn't you? Who? You. I'm running on the treadmill. <laughs> yeah, you cheat, cheat on that. You probably turn the numbers and everything. It's the last lap. Can she do it? Lad's going over to cheer her on. She got a move. She can do a PR. She got a good chance of getting it. Come on, Bruce. Lad, see Lad coaching her? He doesn't said forget it. There you go. Come on, Ruth. Uh, I'm just ticking by. Hurry. Lad over acting like he's a disgusting coach, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> he probably knows what her time is. Ooh, did you, was he in the picture? Coming down. West Jeff, he went over that bell bar big time. Did he make it? Yeah. With room to spare. Huh. There we go. I don't know who their pole vaulters are. He's built like a Huffman, but I can't tell if that's one or not. Here comes Ruthie. Um, maybe. It's 
12. What did you say her best time was? 12.23. 12.23. She can. Uh, she's going. She's trying to beat 12.23. She might. She's going to do it, Carl. A new PB. Personal best. 12.15.3. 12. Fifteen three. Personal best. Her PR, personal record, or whatever. <laughs> whatever they want to call it. Yeah, personal best, I'd be PV, wouldn't it? That's what I called it. Uh, Mike Wilson would be on my case for uh, not using the well, proper language. You, uh, you like to be, I, I have my own. Yeah, you like to be an inventor. Uh, yeah, but I never get credit for it. Somebody else always runs with it and gets the gets all the money. I heard you invented Ebonics. Oh, no, man. <laughs> not me. I used to catch flack over and when, I, when I first went to work in Springfield because I didn't talk like them over there. Hmm. Now you do? No, I don't even talk. I just don't talk, period. Oh. It's Wes Jeff Bovolder. And he uh, yeah. sailed over the last time for a lot of room. Yeah. Wow. Room to spare. Yeah. That's Wes Jeff. That's an incentive for London to get on up there. Who is that from Um I can probably find out. Rattle the papers like we got a whole bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a Slago and a Giglio. Oh. Didn't have any flip that time. Nothing that took him to take him over. <coughs> hey, now we're ready for the boys. 3,200 meter run. We have Martin Sean. Um, Gears from Aspen Plain. Collins from London. Uh, uh, Martin Seth from Jonathan Alder. Hammond from uh, London. Leffler from Jonathan Alder, Lynch from London, and Slagle from London. So from London we have Collins, Lynch, and Slagle. From Alder we have Sean, Seth, and from Plains we have Gears. Those are your runners, 3,200 meter boys. That starter's wearing a mean hat, ain't Lennon's going to set the pace starting out with Alder running a cool second. I was, I was over on Canine Heights the other day. That's where Red come from. Yeah. Yeah. He said it used to be Dog Hill, but it's Canine Heights now. I'd like to give a shout out to anybody who um, would like to help out. We got a lot of events next Wednesday, uh, BACs, and also we have the junior high events Saturday, uh, field events. And if you have a camera or, and can come out and feel, film some of the field events, be more than happy to take your work and then edit it on the tape, and that way we can cover a lot more than what just the races so bring your camera on out and we'll be more, more than glad to have you or the uh, WLHS team from London the news team you might be able to get somebody out here and film a couple of the field events and uh, 
you could use it and then I could also give you some highlight shots off of our program to uh, highlight on your news your news program WLHS news our, our WLHS is spreading out isn't it we're going to see about getting them some shirts like ours <laughs> So London right now is running first and second in the first what is it, 200 meters, 3,200 meters, and uh, we still got uh, <laughs> 300 meters, 30, 3,100. Six more laps. That's a long ways. They keep stretching it out. We'll follow him around and pick up the pole vault. You might slide right on over to it. The kid's got a helmet. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's, there's our... We were talking about somebody having helmets on. That's Madison Plains, so, or, uh, what? Yeah. yeah. Madison Plains, and they, uh, probably haven't been doing it that long. <coughs> so the safest route is a helmet. And that's no guarantee. He doesn't get, he doesn't get enough speed. Run off the side, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can't get up. He's trying, still falling down. Uh -oh. He looked like he slipped off the edge of the yeah. of the pit. Cause he come down foot first. And you supposed to land on your back on that? Yeah. And that's probably takes a lot of doing, just learning how to fall. Oh man! I was watching that uh, Amazing Race the other day, and they had to do a bungee jump. Yeah. Second law highest in the world. <laughs> Did you see it? Uh, I've oh seen Lord! Previews. <laughs> guys want to go home to mommy. <laughs> Those two guys were hugging each other so tight. <laughs> <laughs> well, they jump with two people. Yeah. Somebody. Were they one with a professional or what? No, the two, two teams. The two team. oh, and the one guy, the man and woman, wife, they jumped. And yeah. The guy was scared of heights, and she was just screaming and laughing, and he was... <laughs> man. After they got to sailing for a while, they was okay, I guess. Wow. And back to the race, London has got a pretty good lead here. For first place, how many laps is that, young lady? Uh, I have four more to go. Four? He has four more to go. Okay. And what's your name again? Heidi. Heidi Browning. Heidi Browning up here with us. She's running the clock scoreboard. She'd have been up here pretty lonesome if we hadn't been doing this tonight. You've been up here all by yourself. <laughs> Heidi Browning. Who's your dad? Um, he, he works in Columbus for the police department. Okay. As I know, Brownie, I think, works for the school. <clears throat> Three more laps. If we work our way around to the pole vault, uh, West Jeff is getting ready for their boulder. Yeah, I think he's the only one left there. He might be. He's been clearing it with these. Yeah, he made that other one. Nobody else missed. So they moved it up there. It's pretty good. You can usually tell by out of by how much the kind of speed they get down through there. He's not going to do fast. He got. He got. He got a lot of spring off that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. He bends that pole and throws himself over real neat.
I mean, what you got? Four more? Three more. Just three more. London is still controlling the lead. West Jeff, a pole boarder, might be going for a set of records or something down there. It's hard to tell from here how high it is, but I'm looking at the height of the guys. So I'm going to guess it's over 10 feet. He's coming down to get ready to hit the stretch. He'll have one more lap after that. Right now we got a time of just over 9, 9.20. And then we got the uh, four by four girls and boys. Mm. You think he's sweating? Yeah, make sure Mm-hmm. One lap, he just shot him, so he's on the way. Final lap. Lethia didn't run the 3200, did she? Does she usually run that? Uh, evidently not. It's much of the mile. She's going to be running this 4 by uh, uh, 400 though. Is yeah, she? He going to lap his own London player. Yeah. Uh, getting ready for the height. Uh, pole vault. Might pick it as you go by. West Jeff going for a new height. Oh, he backed off. Looks like we may not get him now because we have to follow this race. Here comes the finish of the 3,200-meter um, boys. And it's going to be London. We might get him. London is going to finish his race. Oh, I ain't going to know. You can tell me. Tell me what he finishes in. 11.6. I get this point second. That's 11.6. Okay, isn't it on there? No, it just says period. Oh, okay. So 11.6 point something. And we're back to the Balter from West Jeff. Mm, he's still clearing with good good height. Good clearance there. Yeah. Is this going to be the third place for London? Mm -hmm. Alder got a second. London was the third in the 3200. I'm not sure who that is. <coughs> Looks like Alder. He walked across. <laughs> and so there we finish uh, the whole race. No, we still got another kid around coming back down through here. Here we go. Uh, four by four girls. And planes will be in lane two. London's in three. Jonathan Alder is in four and five. A and B. Alder's in A and Alder A and B. And uh, West Jeff doesn't have a girl's. Four by four. So there are your teams. Plains, London, and Alder, Alder. You going for another one. West Jeff kid, he just keeps raising the bar. We'll get it. He backed off. The girls four by four. If this jumper will hide, a pole vault will hold up, we'll be around there to pick him up. Jamie Odie's starting off for London. Okay, swing it, Carl. Oh, he hit the bar that time. Okay, we're back to the 4x4. Four four. Odie's out on top. She jumped out in front on the 
from the start and slowed up and then she's back out there. He's got a coach over there coaching him. So somebody's over there knows something. Odie's got a pretty nice lead there. She got a stride, ain't she? Mm -hmm. She taking about three yards a stride. Yeah, Harrison's cut that long enough. Yeah. That's her trademark, that long hair. Hands off to I believe that's Wilson. Wilson takes two strikes there. Odie's one. Oh. And he's on top. Four by four hundred meter relay. We have London, Mass and Plains, older and older. London's kind of stretching out their lead. That ain't Wilson. That's Lamberson. And you disagreed with me? It did from when she took off. Sorry, Lethia. She probably run a pretty fast heat, too. Her leg. Get that right before Mike jumps on me. <laughs> he keeps me straight. And I still mess up. Jessica, Jessica somebody, let me see, I got some girls' names here. Mm. I'm not finding a Jessica though. One more leg. And Lena has a commanding lead. They almost have to fall down and lose this one. Plains is running second and older, older. I guess we're not going to be able to get the junior high tomorrow, but we will do our best to get out here Saturday and do the junior high. Carl had a prior meeting and then he didn't know, didn't think about it. And I, my wife's in the hospital, and I'm going to have to go around and see her, or else I won't have a home to go, to go to. She had major surgery Friday, and she's doing well. So, and yeah, thank you for everybody who knew about it. I thank you for all your prayers and finishing time of four minutes and. 26.9 seconds, London, four by four girls. And we have one more race left and that would be a four by four boys. I believe this might be the last attempt for West Jeff, and I've got a feeling he's going for a, a record. i got a feeling that pole's up there 11, 11 or higher. I'm figuring that kid standing there is probably pushing six foot. No go. Lost his form. Probably tired. Yeah, we'll play into it too. 
so we'll work our way back around here to the um, boys 4 by 4 and um, we have Madison Plains in lane 2 London in lane uh, 3 Jonathan Alder in lane 4 London in lane 5 and Alder in lane 6 so we have A and B team for Alder and London And um, Madison Plains has one team in lane one. I don't know if he's able to reach out to the tennis courts or not, but I see where they've got some blacktop down, one one layer on half of the tennis court. How many courts that's going to be? About eight? It looks uh, at least six anyway. That's going to be pretty neat. And, if they put lights up out there, I don't know if the city would be allowed to use them or not. I would imagine they would be, since we've used theirs all these years. Or is that, is that London's tennis courts? We're pushing 830, Carl. Mm. That's long, dude. It's, 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 uh, I've been up since 4 this morning. Mm -hmm. My wife had that major surgery. It's like a four-hour surgery. And um, they took disc out of her, went through the front of her neck and took a disc out and repaired some bone and then put some bone in place of it to remove it from uh, their nerves and uh, something to do with her spine because she was she didn't have any movement or feeling hardly at all in either hand or either leg and now she's lifting both legs and in therapy hopefully she's walking today I'll know more about when I get home and the first thing she said I told her I had this meat what you know she said, go do the meat. I think she want to get rid of it. What do you think? I can't blame her for that. Oh, I'd blame her if I want to. Uh, she's really supportive of all this uh, stuff we do for the school and for the London community. Four before. Who's the leader of runner for London? Is that Edley? Looks like him. In lane in the in lane three. Somewhere back out of this race, Madison Plains. We don't have anybody but London and Alder. Mm hmm. It looks like right now it's older. And London's running the second and third. Older's trying to run away with it. It seems like every year we have somebody that stands right in front of the clock. Mm -hmm. It's usually just one person. If it's even there for the runners, they can't see because of the, the they're standing, you know, they're so close down there. I know. And that's um, Hodge. Hodge. Yeah. Hodge a big, pretty big boy, isn't he? Uh-huh. Yeah, full by one, right? John Norder got some, that boy's just Picking them up and putting them down. Jonathan Alder getting ready to hand off to the third leg. And they were stretching. London's trying to make a move, but they got a lot to make up. Yeah, it is. That's London's first team out there chasing. Out front, yeah. Oh. You got a way to do it. You 
tried. One team was, uh, I think, is Ed Lee and Schof, Tyler Bennett, and Monte Jackson. And then the other team was Hayes, Vincent Hodge, Kane, Robinson, and um, Hotchkiss. So Jackson's got a lot of making up to do. And you just about bet he's probably one of the faster ones they got. Long legged and skinny. <coughs> yeah, he's got a lot to make up there. Make up and then you gotta pass him. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. We got a fifty meter distance there between them. Yeah. And it looks like he's stretching it out. Looks like John Lauder's going to pull this one off. He ain't going to be able to see the clock, though. Jonathan Alder wins the 4x4 four four boys. Monte Jackson for London runs the last leg and comes in second. And then Alder. And then London. That's been a very good meet here, Carl. I'm going to wrap it up. I don't know if that'll work for me or not. Shut down a little I don't have the scoring. I don't know if they were running by teams or I heard, I heard uh, um, athletic director say something like this was not an inv individual thing, so I don't, I'm sure maybe may come up with team scoring later. But anyway, this is Gary McNeil along with Carl King. And what I want you to know is if you can get somebody out here with a camera for the field events, different field events, if you have a child in there in the field events for the BACs, we can use all the help we can get, and then we can edit it onto the main tape, and that way there's no way we can get around to see everybody. So try to get out here and do that, and we appreciate it. And in the meantime, this is Gary McNeil. I'm a Carl King on camera saying to see you, but I wouldn't want to be you. Adios. Good night.